As you know, if you ever watch the show at all, we are truly into entrepreneurship here on the show. We love entrepreneurs of all types. Small business owners are what keep this world churning out there. And we have a guest on our show today. She is a small business owner, dare I say a multi-time small business owner. She is truly into entrepreneurs herself and has a special place in her heart for helping women entrepreneurs, just women employees in general. Looking forward to hearing her story and sharing it with you today. The name of the company we're representing today is She Jobs. Love that. She Jobs, the name of the company, and my guest, Swathi Nelabahatla. Hi, Brian. I've got it. Yeah. How are you? Good I'm, to see you. I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you for having me well, here. Well, thank you for being here. So, you office right here in North Texas, right? Uh huh, yes. That's where you are? Yes. So, we're, we're going to talk She Jobs here in a second, but give us a little insight because, as I mentioned, you've done a lot of different things. Give us, give us a little input on what you've done to get to where you are today. Sure. Um, thank you for that. Um, so, I started uh, uh, my journey in uh, states probably like eight years ago. Uh, and due to my personal challenges um, and due to some flexibility issues, I wanted to have uh, my own uh, organization. So I am more into entrepreneurship from my childhood. So I started a product engineering and an IT company called Live Minds. Um, so uh, and then today, like I think we are like five years old, but today we are seven million revenue. Um, Good for you. <laughs> thank you. And uh, after that, I started uh, looking to do more startups because I'm more interested in like new ideas, new startups. So I've done uh, like few, but I'll tell you like, you know, I, I failed most of the times. But then uh, uh, I started hiring more women for uh, my company, Live Minds. And then I'm also closely connected with the special needs mother community. So mm -hmm. then I thought, okay, we need a, a you know, specific job portal uh, which will cater women, women needs, and women workforce. So that's how She Jobs is born. Wow. Well, uh, it's so many businesses, so many entrepreneurs, frankly, that sit right there in that chair have a personal story where they do something because they, they've been there. Yes. But I realize, like you did, that it's probably not just me. There's <laughs> other people going through the same thing. Let's see if I can come up with a business and help help everybody. Awesome. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Thank and, you. And, and $7 million is nothing to sneeze at, by the way, for, <laughs> for your other business. But that gets us to She Jobs. So yes. what is the point of She Jobs, the main focus of what you do? Sure. Basically, we know, right, like uh, women workforce is in general less in number and COVID has brought like a lot of mothers have lost their jobs, women have lost their jobs and a um, lot of vulnerable communities like Latino and uh, black uh, women just want to code, don't want to code their names, but they have lost their jobs because of COVID scenario and in general uh, remote uh, working and with the kids at home you know there's a lot of stuff going on with women currently so I thought uh, we specifically need a job portal which will um, cater on those women who have gaps in their career and uh, pandemic is like one gap but apart from that they also have gaps because of pregnancy or if they are mother of a special needs child then they'll have gap and so I'm going to urge organizations um, through She Jobs to hire more women into their workforce mm -hmm. and give more flexibility options for them uh, and create uh, separate quotas for women in different layers. Like, you know, you want to hire women, but just don't look women as women. But there are so many layers in women which I want organizations to acknowledge. Well, and the other thing too, is this industry specific or you're talking to multiple, is it all IT stuff? Or are you talking to all sorts of industries? to get them to hire more women? Uh, great question. Uh, my intention is to support women in uh, IT, non-IT, and finance and, and stuff. Uh, but then as a startup, like I really cannot concentrate in a lot of things, right? So I'm concentrating on women in technology currently. And in fact, uh, we want to have like those women who never uh, had any experience with technology to get into the tech workforce. So we are trying to form courses. We are trying to reskill them, upskill them with, with nice. like, you know, even as like, small thing as like Microsoft works to a full stack engineer. Wow, okay, well, it looks to me that with your business, she jobs, it's a, it, there's, there's two prongs. Uh -huh. First of all, you need to find the employers out there to hire people. Yes. But the other piece is you need to let these women know that you're there for them. Exactly. So how do you find the women to let them know, hey, here's she jobs, let us help you. How, how do you find the women? So that's a great question. Uh, so organizations, yes, I'm, cre I'm uh, getting into dialogue with a lot of organizations who has their major targets on diversity this year and coming years. Uh, with respect to women, as I told you, I'm closely connected with a special needs community out there. And uh, uh, um, there are so many face group, Facebook groups out there. And we are connected with the colleges through some apps where we go and uh, hire the career freshers and we train them. And uh, we are connected to the women organizations as 
research and you know and uh, mostly I'm getting a great response from those women who have got a gap in the career because literally there are like very limited options out there who can help mm. them yeah so the response is great from women as well good because there's not a lot of she jobs places out there for them to go as a resource exactly right yeah. okay so then the other end of the equation how do you go out and let the companies know hey here I am there's a lot of great women out there in the workforce you need to hear about them how do you get the companies involved? You're helping me on that. Uh, Good. Well, hey, we're glad to be here to help you on that today. Yeah, really. Yeah. So is it a lot of media stuff? Do you have yes. a social media push as well? Yes. Um, so we do have social media and we are, uh, in fact, we are uh, trying to reach a lot of people through LinkedIn and through other uh, mediums of business. And through Live Minds, I work with many clients. So those clients, I'm, I'm reaching out to those clients and they, in fact, they are responding very well, uh, positively. Yeah. Well, I, I think they would because they probably... You know, they have women that work for them anyway, but even put that aside, just to talking man to man, you, they all have sisters and daughters and moms and aunts and spouses, and they understand the importance of women in the workforce. And so yes. they, they may have their own personal experience to where their wife was laid off or their daughter was laid off or their cousin was laid off, and they understand what's going on. That's got to work in your favor. Exactly. For them all of a sudden, so for them thinking, you know, I'd really like to, to work through this diversity issue we have. Yes. And it is a diversity issue, not enough women in the workforce in these positions. So they probably welcome you to come in because yes. you've already taken a lot of the work out of the way that they don't even know where to start. Exactly. All they have to do is say, well, here's some jobs. <laughs> yeah. Right. Very true. Yeah. So we, uh, organization these days, they are creating separate teams for diversity and inclusion, in fact, and, and they are forming whole teams. So I think she jobs will very well fit into that and they can uh, we can enable them to find more women in whichever technology or anything they are looking for. Yeah, I love that name, she jobs. Did you think about that a long time or just kind of <laughs> pop in your head? Um, one of my close friends have referred that name to me, it's and I found it name. very apt. <laughs> it's a great name. It's easy to remember, but more importantly, it simplistically describes exactly what exactly True. what you're all about. True. So, yeah. so where do you see us heading with this? What's what's the next next step? So, uh, this year uh, we are partnering up with a couple of uh, Fortune 500 clients. Um, so, uh, with uh, with them, and then uh, getting on board with a uh, lot of other clients. Uh, definitely will give us more jobs and then parallelly we want to place at least like you know some percentage of women and then we want to increase uh, women in workforce uh, percentages through she jobs i mean at least for a few percentage that's what i like well i, I think you're well on your way i can see that happening especially you mentioned earlier you're in with some of the colleges and stuff and a yes. lot of a lot of cases men or women but particularly women getting that first job yes is a hard one yes to start building your resume and stuff so there's do you have like a a, a special emphasis on people about to graduate women about to graduate to help them is that a special thing that you're looking at yes so we want to concentrate more on the underrepresented minorities uh, when it comes to the colleges and career freshers because they are the ones who re literally need like a lot of support so we are going to train them for free of cost and then have the database and give it to the organizations and uh, so the organizations can like re literally screen them and take whoever they like but we are going to have the database and we want to work on customized course content for those people like like for example if you have interest in like azure aws the other person has interest in java.net like we are going to work closely with their interests well and maybe conversely going back to the companies over here find out what they're looking for yes and then train up the ladies over here yes to get them to where they can feel you know find find what you need take these people and make them what you need and bam Yes, I have some. Look company. at me! I'm telling you how you do your job. I don't awesome. know. It seems is that is that the way it's going? Yeah, that's uh, that's that's exactly one of the ways. Uh, because usually it is like some companies will tell what what they for example they want to hire like thousand um, women in like Java full stack for this year. They let us know and we'll train them. That is one part of it. And second, we already have like trained resources in different technologies. That's other part. And we also need to reskill those women who have got career breaks. So there are like multiple things in this. It's well, I tell you what, you're the exact. <laughs> person to be in this job because you have your own personal story from yeah. a variety of different paths. You're very successful in other things that you've done and frankly you are the middle person to get this group here yeah. and this group here, put them all together, bam, she jobs. Yes. Perfect, perfect, yeah. perfect. Well thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedule to share your story. It's a great story thank and you. we appreciate you for everybody that you're helping. Thank you for the opportunity, Brian. Thank you much. Yeah. Folks, thank you as well. Appreciate you being here and don't run off because we're not going anywhere on all in.